Getting into a coding bootcamp is a big accomplishment, but it doesn't stop there. Depending on how you play your cards and what you do during your coding bootcamp experience, that could determine whether you get a job in a month after you graduate, six months after you graduate, or before you even graduate. My name is Timur Meister, and in addition to being one of the founders of Career Karma, I did a coding bootcamp myself, and there are a number of things I would have done differently if I had to do it all over again. To help everyone out there preparing to start their coding bootcamps, here are five big tips to make you succeed in your coding bootcamp experience. And these tips will also help you get a job and become a software engineer faster. Let's start with tip number one, make cool stuff. Choose projects and shape your learning in such a way that every day you wake up excited to learn more. Daily remind yourself why you're doing it and try to make the journey as fun as you can. Take on challenges where you push yourself outside your comfort zone and build things like your personal website and the app that you always wanted to build for your final project. I guarantee you, you'll be way more enthusiastic about your projects during your job interviews. And that excitement is gonna come off to your employers. Tip number two, put yourself in front of others. If a tree falls, but there is no one to hear it, does it make a sound? The answer is no, at least in the world of networking. Even if you're a talented programmer, your chances of getting your first developer job are a lot lower if you don't try to make connections and share your knowledge. Doing a coding bootcamp gives you an unfair advantage over self-taught engineers because you have access to the alumni network. When you begin, ask your career advisors for emails and contact info of alumni and begin reaching out to them one by one to start forming those important relationships. The truth is, most jobs are found through referral and not found online. If you connect with alumni, it's very likely the company that previously hired a bootcamp graduate will hire more people soon. And that person, that new hire, could be you. Even if at first you don't start with the outreach to your school's alumni, it would be important to start attending meetups and conferences in your field to begin engaging with people. That brings up to tip number three, extract information don't just receive it. One of the most important coding bootcamp tips is to make the best use of your instructors, coaches, and mentors. Even though you can find most answers on Google, your bootcamp should have support to give you personalized feedback on things that you need to improve. Instead of just trying to get by and learn according to the material, try to take advantage of the time with your instructors. Even though your peers might not be booking individual coaching sessions with your instructors or TAs, these programs usually have staff available to make sure you're on track and are grasping material correctly. In a nutshell, just be more proactive throughout the whole bootcamp experience. Tip number four, find a way to compromise between passion and hireability. As you may have deduced from the first tip, Mastery is the slave of passion, but that doesn't mean that you should be ruled by your interests and go whatever they dictate. In order to land your first programming job, it's important to tame that passion and direct it to projects and technologies that will be helpful during the interview process. This means learning technologies that are fun to learn, but also relevant. Look around and see what's growing, what's popular, and don't be afraid to stray from the typical languages and tools to build an interesting project. As long as you've got a solid base, don't be too hesitant when an interesting new learning opportunity comes along. So the last tip is tip number five, build meaningful relationships. While doing all of the above to improve as a developer, remember to cherish the time you spend in this bootcamp experience. Coding bootcamps may only last a few months, but you will most likely bond with your classmates as much as you would have if you went to a college. These people will be your advocates and the sounding board whenever you're unsure of how to proceed. Relationships take work and have to be nurtured. After you land your first job, get in touch with your former classmates and trade notes on your experiences pre and post job search. 
Anyone will tell you that getting your first job is the toughest part and nurturing these relationships will make getting your second and third job a lot easier. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave your comment below on any other ideas that you have on how to make the most out of your coding bootcamp experience. And as always, let's break in. Mm -hmm.